So hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I freshly washed my hair and I felt like doing a wash and go and I thought about some of the products that I just recently bought and I was like why not just test out this product. So the product that I'll be trying today is the Natural Medium Hold Avocado Curl Custard. So I actually bought this product while I was in the Essence Festival last month and I actually had a really good deal on it. All of their products were like $10, which is really great in comparison to their website and how much their products really cost. So my hair is actually freshly washed and it's been deep conditioned and detangled. I just kept my hair in this shower cap just to keep, my, keep it all moist, you know. To pair that curl custard, I'm actually gonna be using Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. This is one of my favorites. It's, it's, it can be a little pricey because my big old head and I use a lot of product, but I love this. This has actually been one of my top leave-in conditioners. And I've been using a lot of leave-ins just trying to figure out what products I like because my staple product that I used to use before, which was my Shea Moisture Curls Milk or something like that. It's the peach label. I'll put it here so you know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the name of it right now. These are the two products that I'll be mixing today in hopes that they work together. I'm gonna work with the back section first. She growing, y'all. She is growing all lovely. My hair is growing, y'all. So my efforts are not in vain. So I'm gonna grab some of that Camille Rose and apply that much on the palm of my hand. I'm sure I'll add more. <laughs> I'm gonna smooth that all over my hair. I'm gonna split this back section into a smaller section. And I'm actually gonna pin this away. So now that I have that pinned away, okay. <laughs> I got the medium custard open. It's like really like a jelly type consistency. It's like snot. I'm gonna take uh, maybe about that much right there. Put it over that section. Okay, I see some clump action. I need to make sure my roots that the product has um Eco style be laying down my roots, y'all. Like I understand Eco Style got bad ingredients. I know we don't we we we're supposed to be team cancel eco styler um because of it. However, I have not found a suitable replacement that gives me the same hold that doesn't have the terrible ingredients. So if you have a recommendation of one, please let me know. Um because my type four here needs the hold. <laughs> As you can see. So my ends are good, my roots still feel a little too puffy. Okay. I'm gonna add some more moisturizer to my roots because I wanna make sure like in between the sections of my hair is nice and moisturized. Take some of that custard. I guess I'm gonna start at my roots first. I mean, this feels like a jelly, like, it doesn't really feel like a, like a gel. It's a custard, right? Maybe I'm just using it wrong. <laughs> Maybe this is probably better for like twist outs and like braid outs and not necessarily washing goes. I'm gonna put my towel back around my neck. I got my spray bottle, it just has water inside. I'm gonna spray that section liberally. All right, and smooth. It through. Put a little bit of that custard again on my hand just to tame down the frizz. So, this is what I'm looking like. It's clumping. It's still a little frizzy, but it's clumping. So, yeah, wash and goes are still a new territory for me. I'm still learning how to make this the magic of this happen. I'm trying different products. Um, to see what will work for me. I like Eco Styler because it holds everything in place. Like, it freezes everything in place. I was trying to find different ways to still get that look. So I'm gonna smooth all of them together using a praying hands method. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. I don't know if you can see, but it's clumping. Like I said, it's not the fine way that I am used to, but it's clumping. Move to the front section. Some of that Camille Rose. 
using that much all over the section. I'm just flip that into a smaller section. Take some more of that Camille Rose, get it on my roots. Split that into a smaller section. All right, now working with this small section, grabbing that custard, applying it to my roots first, working it down my hair shaft. I mean, it's clumping. It's just not doing what I wanted to do. Let me grab my Felicia Leatherwood brush and see if that makes a difference. Cause maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to use a tool. It's still puffy. It's not really, and my hair is wet. It's just, it's not holding the same way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be a successful wash and go, y'all. I might have to slap this bad boy into a, some, put some twist in and see if that would be better. It's like, it's poofy. Like my hair is really poofy. <sighs> All right, I'm trying, I'm trying to be hopeful, y'all. Like it is a puff ball. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe it's fine. I just, I don't, I don't know. Like I got an image of eco style in my hair. Like eco style would have froze like the curls in place. And at least I can break the cast eventually on Eco Style Gel and my hair will get bigger. But like, I'm getting frizz. Like my hair is poofy and it's frizzy and I, my hair is wet. It's just my ends that are seeming to be okay. Let's see if you can see that. My ends seem to be fine, but like the rest of my hair is not working. It's actually the front of my hair, which is the kinkiest, uh, which is what I need to be like working. And I got a lot of product on there too. So it's not like I don't have product. I'm gonna finish this half so I can get a, I can give it an accurate assessment. You know what this reminds me of a little bit? The kinky, the kinky curly. It reminds me of this one, the curling custard, which I'm not a big fan of either. And I guess, I don't know if I'm just, I need the, the other product with it that you're supposed to use in, in conjunction with it. I don't know, but I'm not, I wasn't feeling it. And so I'm doing the hair praying hands method. Maybe I need to do some shingling. Hell, even the shingling looks like it's doing that. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, could have you used this product yourself? And is there a better way to use it? I'm gonna take a section in the front. Now we're gonna compare it. Cause maybe it's just me or maybe it's just the product. So I'm gonna take some of the Eco Style Gel, apply it to my roots, and I'm just applying it to the existing product, right? But I can tell the difference already. <laughs> it's not fair, why? Won't you let me be great? Look at that. Clumping. You see the difference? Look at the difference. Eco Style it here, that custard here. The eco, it clumps it, but it holds it in place. That, my friend, is why I like eco style. Yeah, I think this is a fail, y'all. I don't, this is, this is not it. Well, y'all, I don't know what to do with my hair, but this is an absolute no for me, um, at least for wash and go. Now, I don't know what my hair is gonna respond like in a twist out, and I may do that. Um, so I got this whole half of my head, I ain't even touch. This whole half of my head that I haven't even touched. Let's just put product on both sides. Wait, look at my natural hair and this. Okay, maybe maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it's doing what it's supposed to do. I don't necessarily care for it. Like I said, if I'm doing something wrong, y'all let me know, cause I ain't seeing it. I ain't seeing it, I ain't seeing it, I ain't seeing it. Y'all, okay, I'm gonna slap this bad boy in the ponytail. All right. Brush, brush, brush. Um, yeah, this product for me is a no. It's just the same thing with the Kinky Curly Custard. I'm not gonna throw it away. Obviously, I spent my money on this thing and so I'm gonna get some more uses out of it. But if I do a twist out, I'll make sure to record a part two of this video to give it a second chance. Maybe I'm just being too harsh. But for wash and go, it's not 
necessarily what I like for my wash and go. It's I need more hold because my hair my hair is just too kinky for just the light hold. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendations of what I can do to make this process a bit better. Maybe I'm just missing the mark. Maybe I'm missing something. But let me know. Let me you let me know what I need to do with this hair because it's not this is not it but uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye